Fishing a drop shot is a great technique anytime you're fishing a deep clear lake like this one we're sitting on here in Florida. We got clear water and we got a lot of fish that are holding in that 13 to 18 foot zone. And there's nothing better with the grass that's down there than this drop shot to catch you a lot of fish. And it's very, very hassle free since that weight will sit down there in the grass and that worm will jiggle just up above it. And it drives them nuts, man. I'm telling you, you catch a lot of fish doing this. So what you start out with, it's a pretty simple rig to set up and once you practice it, just like anything else, you're gonna get good at it and it'll become second nature to you. It'll be easy to tie when you're out on the water. So I got a little number one drop shot hook and what I'm gonna do first is tie a, is tie a regular Palomar knot. So I double the line over, put it through the eye of the hook, tie an overhand knot and I open up that loop, grab the hook, pull it through and then I always cinch my Palomar knot down on my finger until that knot forms right like that. Then I wet it just like I do with every knot. You always want to wet your knot just so it doesn't chafe that line. Now this is the important step. You'll see when I finish that off right there, my hook is upside down. It's facing down. And when you go to set the hook on a fish, that is no good. So what I do is I take my tag end here and I'm going to run it through the hook point first down through the eye right there. So through the eye, point first. Okay. I'm going to pull that tight and watch what this does to this drop shot hook. From pointing upside down to standing straight up every time. That's really, really important for your hook set. All right, and your last two steps. Step one, put your weight on there. I got an eighth ounce weight. These grass lakes, when you're drop shotting them, you don't need to have a super heavy weight. So I'll just give it one little overhand knot, snip it off. And your final step, of course, is putting the right bait on there. These fish in this clear water love a natural color like this watermelon red, or if you want to throw a green pumpkin, this finesse worms by Z-Man is a killer on these offshore fish when you're drop shotting. So what I'll do is I'll pierce that finesse worms right under the chin with my drop shot hook, and then right out the, the tip of the nose. And that right there will catch you some fish. If that doesn't catch them, nothing will. Perfect little drop shot rig for grass fishing. For more tips like this, go to sweetwaterfishingtv.com and also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.